at that. All the trees uh, have dropped their leaves, but you know, in a few months, in a few weeks, they'll be replenished, they'll be renewed, they'll be transformed into blossoming verdant trees again. God restores. That's the message I have for you today. He renews, he transforms, he changes, he repairs broken things. And he takes you through every season of your life. He'll be there through the bare seasons, the lean seasons, and be there through the abundant seasons. He'll be there in your seasons of distress and grief. And he'll be there in your seasons of joy. His weeping endures for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Just remember that. Weeping endures only for the night, but joy comes in the morning. So I want to encourage you again to persevere. Don't give up. Press on. Press on, my brothers and sisters. Press on to the higher calling, as in Jesus Christ. Right, I'm almost uh, home. And we're signing off. I said I would sign off already, but I haven't yet done so. It's amazing how the far these rules go, they're exposed. But they go way down for this tree to be standing this these roots have to be going way down and this is called that erosion or we can see the roots but you know the roots look at these roots what does it tell you about you know your foundation and god when god plants you, you know he plants you deep man and there's a story i i've heard about the a, a bamboo shoot and how far the roots go and how many years it takes for those roots to to um to that blossom for it to blossom and the same thing as it is with us that when we study the word of god and we we live our faith daily and we continue to trust him and we pray he is he is digging he's putting roots on us he's putting roots on our feet he's putting us you know sometimes we go to a season you know and we think that oh when is this going to be over but and i've proven it myself but god is he's, he's planting deep roots he's he's, he's he's pushing your roots down way down because when the seasons the hard seasons come when the hurricanes come he wants to make sure that you stand but sometimes you're going through a rough time you know in your life and um season is bare you're unemployed you you um your your relationships are broken it's like everybody has turned against you you're facing a lot you know but you know what that's a time you should take to connect with god and that's what i'm doing right now i'm going through my seasons you know i i'm at home again after you know, hi, I've been after you know serving my contract. My contract expired four months. I got three months, it was supposed to be three months, and I got four, so I got an, an extra month and I'm blessed. But I'm home again, and yes, I have days when I'm anxious. I worry about my savings dwindling, I worry about you know, I worry about oh my god, my, my, I, I'm gonna have to keep what I have in, the, in my savings because I have to pay my rent, you know. And I have to pay my bills and you worry about well, when that expires, then what happened? But you can't be telling people that God provides and you're not believing it. So I'm going to, I said this morning, you know, when I was on my knees, I said, God, I'm giving it to you. I don't know where the money's going to come from to get my glasses. I just paid on on a glass, $80,000, paid on half of that. And I have to collect it and pay the rest. I don't know where that money's going to come from. I don't know my rent is due in a week I have that and I may have you know for a month or two but after that what happens then my bills I have to be paying them <sighs> and food but you know what I just said listen to me if the same God who carried me here carried me through for four years 
in carrying me through COVID alone. You know, dealing with my mother's grief. Just the COVID started just as my just a month or so after my mother died. I was alone in a strange parish, this parish called Manchester. And I I survived. It was tough. But I survived. And I did it pretty much isolatedly. I wasn't working. I wasn't going to church. Not that I was doing anything. I just wasn't going to church. I was watching church online, as you know. And um, so I didn't have a community. I didn't have, I was supposed to see my family. You know, they're in St. Anne. But he bore me up. And after, he, he carried me through. I, I never owed my rent. I never owed my bills. I was able to pay, you know, each month. Because what? Of God. He provided. He provided. And it's not because I'm wealthy or my, my daughter who assists me was wealthy. No. He made a way. And God will make a way too. God will make a way for you. If he, he says he will bear us up on angels' wings, you know, when it gets too hard. But he says, take my yoke upon you. Take my yoke upon you for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So I've decided to give God my yoke and exchange it for his you know, and I want to encourage you to do the same thing because it's better for you to cast your burdens upon him because he cares for us. And he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And he says, I will lift you up with my righteous right hand. Oh, what an amazing promise. I will lift you up. And that's a strong right hand. You know, God's hand is a strong right hand. And we can, when you're lifted up on the, in those hands, you feel comforted and you feel secure. You know, you won't fall. He won't let us fall. He won't let you fall.